I've got something really interesting for you guys today. There was a company that emerged recently. They are called Dora and they allow you to create websites with no code. Now, there is one part about them that's really, really fascinating and very dear to my heart. And it's the fact that the websites that you can make can be purely FreeJS and WebGL, 3D animated without writing a single line of code. So I've got a bunch of these cool examples of what can be made with Dora. So we're actually going to go through them and react to them and see how interesting and how complex Dora can actually get. One thing that makes me even more excited is that Mr. Doob, who is the actual creator of FreeJS, actually tweeted about Dora. So this makes it very, very promising. So without any further ado, let's see what we've got in store today. Right, so this is the first example. Just scroll down. Nice, nice. So as I'm scrolling here, uh, essentially what's happening is that there's a video in the background and it's just reacting to the on-scroll event uh, and it's making that uh, obviously uh, title appear because it's in a contrasting color. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool effect and it's cool that you can do that. It's cool that you can have the options with Endora to animate a video based on the events that you perform within the browser. Uh, so this is another very cool example. Cool, all right, on to the next one. Give your design more depth. A depth with parallax scroll. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Oh, nice, oh, nice, nice. This is, um, yeah, wow, nice. Nice, this is very cool. Um, this is actually made really well. Um, we can see that we have three layers here. We've got the clouds, we've got the, uh, the statue, and then we've got the text that everything is going over. Um, really cool, I'm, I'm interested actually how uh, how they've managed to do that, but of course this is all done within like a Figma-like editor. Um, so I assume the complexity of doing something like this at this point is very, very simple. You just need the, the free layers to actually go on top. Uh, but the effect is great. I always loved Parallax Scroll. I did a video on it, uh, how to do it in plain CSS. So um, I love it, I love it. It's a very cool, very cool possibility here. That's already a lot of kind of uh, spice that you can add to your website. Let's continue moving to the next example. Stylized Planet. So we have a 3D model here. Importing 3D models into Dora is as simple as dragging an image into the editor. It's at the level of 3GS, but simply done with no code. Um, and it says to scroll down. Okay, well, let's continue scrolling. Okay, wow, we've got a lot of going, wow, we've got a lot going on here. The whole planet moves towards us. The whole text changes like orientation from vertical to horizontal, loved it. Um, Nice, and then we're, g wow, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what is going on? Wow, this is very nicely animated. Um, so we've got three planets inside and as we scroll out, we move out of that planet and this is a really like nice transition that we're moving into it. So there is this like whole sense of depth going on. Um, very nicely animated. Um, and, and I love this kind of change in like uh, direction from horizontal to like vertical. Ooh, and they have the little nice scroll over animation. So anywhere in, in on the page where we move it, that, um, that animation where we have on hover continues to, to be in place, which is really nice. Love it, very exciting. All right, on to the next example. All screen design, beauty all around. Okay, what's gonna happen when I scroll? Ooh, nice. Okay, so we've got a bunch of iPads that are animating, love that. Oh, oh, super nice. That's really cool, and how's, that's so smooth. Like there is absolutely like no lag on this. Really nice, and then we continue scroll, scrolling. What's happening here, the page is changing. And then, oh, we've got this, wow, this is, this is on scroll. I thought that was a video, but this is actually on scroll. And we can see like different iPads coming in and animating. And as we scroll, oh, wow. Oh, the pen, oh, wow, wow, what? Done with no code? I'm really impressed. I am really impressed. That is super nice. And now that continues, that closes off and we talk about the Apple Pencil and it, wow. Oh my God, this is so exciting. That is so nice. That is such a great experience for a user. Wow, the possibilities right now. Now we can make all this with no code. This is actually crazy. Um, how exciting! Well, that opens so many possibilities to so many users who maybe struggle or are less technical and wanted to achieve websites like this. You can just do all of that now. 
I am so excited to be trying this out myself. Oh, the amount of things you can make in such a faster speed that are very impressive. And this, uh, this, uh, this whole animation, this like whole change to the iPad, I think that's just so smooth. It's incredible. Amazing. Well, damn, Dora. You're, wow. Awesome. Okay, uh, we've got two more examples left, so I'm just super excited to go into them right now because I don't know what's up ahead. iPhone 13 Pro, another Apple one. Uh, okay, uh, also Pro. Let's continue. Okay, so currently nothing. All right, here we get a bunch of uh, cool, like, uh, light transitions that are um, going through the text. The text that's highlighted is uh, changing color, and as we scroll, the, the highlight of the text changes. Very, very cool. Oh, a very nice animation of an iPhone. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we've got a whole frame of an iPhone here and the bunch of colors. Oh, wait, these are clickable. Oh, oh, what a product showcase. What? That's better than a lot of like um, website builders for online stores. I mean, if you've got the option to change things like this and, and show off a product like that, pff, amazing. Um, and then, okay, we continue scrolling and we go to another frame that snaps into place. Uh, this is showing of the iPhone. Okay, so we've got a bunch of really nice frames. Okay, let's continue scrolling. Then we have a video. What? <laughs> that was smooth. A whole video that animates into the frame of an iPhone editing panel. So smooth, that's really nice. You know, like th there is there is a whole concept of this, but like th there also has to be the concept of creativity and, and someone was really creative when making these, uh, but oh, the possibilities you can achieve, so exciting. Love it. That's really nice, that's smooth. That's that's a really nice uh, transition as well. I mean, th th we've seen some that are just really, really great. Amazing, so awesome. That is such a cool website uh, and such a cool piece of tech. Dora, wow, you absolutely killed it with this one. I am so excited to be trying you guys out uh, and I'm so excited to, uh, to just see what people create with no code and a no code website. Now I want to show you what Dora actually looks like when you come around to build a website and play with the editor. So I've got this really awesome Apple AirPods example I want to show you. So this is what the editor actually looks like in itself. And if you're looking at it for the first time, you might think, well, actually it looks very much like Figma. Now on the left, we have our components that we can manage. Then we have all the layers within our editor. On the right, we've got all the uh, options to manipulate uh, your images and your models whether it is moving them around, rotating them, applying a fill, and so on and so forth. And then finally, the most important and exciting part is that you have this editor where you can control all your animations and set keyframes and animate them as the timeline continues scrolling along. So if I just go ahead and start dragging this timeline, what you'll see is that that screen continues to drop down and that animation continues to happen. Uh, which is very, very cool. So once we finalize the animation, once we're happy with it, we can actually preview it in the top right corner. And if I just click on it, and I'll just click preview, and what you'll see is that it will load the whole website where you can actually see within that editor as well, where you have the option to change between different devices. And as we continue scrolling, we can see that animation, which is just awesome. Uh, you know, taking effect and you've got the control over everything. So in general, Dora is pretty simple to use. I would actually love to have a stab at designing a whole portfolio website with Dora and see the results. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you smash that thumbs up button below. And before you go, and before we end this video, there's one thing I want to show you. Dora recently ranked top in product hand for the AI feature, uh, where you can create websites by prompting the AI to do something and it generates that 3D, free JS and WebGL website for you. And I have a little trailer of that. Before you go, make sure you watch it. But as always, thank you very much guys for watching. Of course, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video, bye.